Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, happy food dance. Yeah, she's actually <laughs> so annoying. I change your tune quick. I said it so judgmentally as well. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Alice. So, I'm joined with the lovely Hannah, or joined by, joined with. I always get that wrong. Mm, I don't know what it's supposed to be. I don't know. Hannah's here. I'm here. My pal's here. I might look a bit different. I am Fabulous Alice today. This is Fabulous Hannah. You know? I've given Alice a transformation yeah. today. So if you want to see the video we filmed on Hannah's channel, it's going to be so funny. I can't wait to see it. Go over, I'll leave it linked in the description. We yeah. just went to McDonald's dressed in the transformation outfit, so I'll insert yeah. that clip, but it was interesting. Mm. Yeah, it was definitely interesting. So, me and Han headed to McDonald's to get our food for the mukbang. <laughs> Literally matching. Why am I doing this to myself? Oh, nice. They're school kids. Look. <laughs> Let's just go to the thing and pretend nothing happened. Awkward. Oh, no. Look at all this food, just for two people. Mate, I'm so excited. Let's get mukbanging. I've never done Ooh. this before. I'm excited. Not. No. It's your first one. No. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, happy food dance. What is your pet peeve of each other? That's mm -hmm. actually really difficult. There's nothing you do that annoys me. Oh, I've just dropped legs on my jeans. Oh, what a mug. I must do something annoying. I'm quite an annoying person. <laughs> At least I think. Yeah, she's actually <laughs> so annoying. Like I, I think I am. <laughs> no, I don't think you are. I wouldn't be a friend if you were annoying because I have very low tolerance for that. I really don't know. That was not a very good question to start with, was it? We're just perfect together. Yeah, there's nothing that you do that annoys me. Like, genuinely nothing. Hmm. Because, like, you're not messy. No, you're not messy. You're not fussy with food. We're not, like, picky when we want to do something. We're quite chill. Yeah. Maybe that's why we get on so well. I think it is. I forgot how good chicken selects were. Are your types the same in love interests? Are type? I don't think so. Um, I think they're similar. Like, looks-wise, maybe. Do you think? Yeah, like, dark hair. Hmm. Dark hair, tall. Yeah, that's true, actually. Bit of a stubble. Yeah. Yeah, so maybe looks-wise. Looks-wise. Personality? I don't think so. I think you quite like yeah. someone that, like... You like to be the superior person, I think. Mm. Like, you don't want someone that's, like, more confident than you, more this than you. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. You like someone, like... You're an affectionate person. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, you can be quite needy, I think. Oh, I'm so With needy. your boyfriend. So your boyfriend <laughs> needs to be equally needy. He is, can confirm, but yeah. Whereas I don't like needy. If yeah. someone was to like not leave me alone, I'd be like, no, please get gone. Please mm. exit my life. You're more chill, aren't you? You want someone I'm not a bit more fussy. laid back. As long as they're breathing. <laughs> I'm not really fussy. Yeah, I like someone laid back. Definitely. I'm enjoying these selects way too much. I should have got more than three. Oh, mate. You've still got nine chicken nuggets there, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> We're back. Back again, again, again. This is back. Oh, I've had nearly sat in my burger. <laughs> oh my god, my heart literally stopped. She survives. <laughs> How would you describe each other in three words? Um. So Hannah is chill, high maintenance, no. but not in like a big way. Like, how do you mean? <laughs> I think it's because I spent my morning rubbing in fake tan. Oh, you mean like looks like wise, looks like, wise, I not like personality wise. Oh, okay. You're not really bothered about that. Yeah. Yeah, like I keep up the fake tan, the nails, stuff like that, yeah. the hair. But it's not really high maintenance, maybe that's the wrong word to describe it, but that kind of vibe. Mm. And friendly, or like welcoming. Oh. Like, like approachable, maybe that's the mm. right word for that one. Approachable. So cool, high maintenance and approachable. <laughs> for you, I would say, definitely hard working as one. I can't think of another word for it, but like goofy, like silly. You're like mm. a silly person. Yeah. And hard working, silly. This question's really hard actually. <laughs> I want to say lazy but in a good way. Yeah. Like you love a PJ day. Oh, you yeah. can't be bothered with makeup a lot of the time. So not lazy but like. Yeah. Chilled. Low maintenance. Low maintenance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What does Hannah think of your boyfriend? Hmm. Hannah met my boyfriend yesterday. Yeah, I met him for the first time. Yeah, I like him. I think you and him work well together. You're very similar. Mm. In a lot of different ways. What would you do if it, she was just like, no, I didn't like him? <laughs> just oh, can you imagine? That would be so awkward. <laughs> I was like, um, I, mean, well, I don't know. <laughs> Cut this bit out, Alice, but... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, I didn't. I said to you when he left, I was like, mm. yeah, he's a really nice person. He's very friendly. Yeah. That was the vibe I got from him. He, he had to, to sit. We were just sat chatting, having a catch up, bless him, and he was just sat like third yeah. wheeling. He was the third wheel you were, <laughs> wasn't he? <laughs> That's so true. <laughs> he's a good one. I'll keep him. You should. We've got the Hannah approval. What's your favourite fast food place? 
Definitely KFC. McDonald's. Is it actually? Yeah. Wait, why don't we go to KFC? <laughs> McDonald's is closer. I was hungry. <laughs> Mine is 100% McDonald's. 1000%. Oh, I've actually got veggie oh, wrap. Yeah. I'm going to try it. Cause I like, just realised, what the hell is in this? Yeah, we didn't actually check. What is what is this that looks like chicken? Hmm. Oh. Hmm. Oh, it's a red pepper and pesto goujon. <gasps> I can taste the red pepper, definitely. Ah. Can I have that? Mmm, Sherry's Karen. Oh, it smells good. Yeah, I wouldn't nice. choose it over a cheeseburger. No, that's really nice. Yeah, that's not as bad as I like the flavours in that. I do too. Very much so. I approve. Oh, I've dropped my nug. Oh no. Oh no. That's Man cool. down. Next question. How many children do you want? Ooh. While I start on my next item. <laughs> I want three. Three, I think. I'm like, well, I've got a half sister, but I lived with just me and my brother. And I always wanted a younger sister. Yeah, same. I think it'd be quite cute. I do want to have them quite close together so they're really close. Yeah, me too. Up. Yeah. But then, if I kind of thrived having kids, like, I wouldn't be against having four. Oh, that's a, that's a good way to put it. Do you know, like, if I get to two and think, oh my god. Yeah, it's difficult. Oh, like, maybe not. Maybe I wouldn't, but play it by ear. I wouldn't mind having a big family like four. I think that'd be really cute. Yeah, same. I, I yeah, I'm the same. I'd like three or four. I definitely want two girls, and I'm not really bothered about the rest. Mm. I'm not bothered. I had like one boy or two boys, or even like if I had five kids, if I had three boys, I just want two girls definitely. They'd be so cute because they could be best friends. And I always said that I wanted to have three under three, like three under the age of three, to so have them really close. Oh my god. I know. I'd love that. Yeah, same. That's what I strive for. Yeah. Like when I start having kids, that's it. I'm like knuckling down for the same. next three years and popping out babies. You yeah. Know? That's literally me. Yeah. Hope my future husband is all right with that. <laughs> Hope he's not watching. Yeah. Can you imagine? He'd be like, oh god. <laughs> Have you got baby names sorted? I've got like a list on my phone of names that I've heard and thought, oh, that, that, that would make a cute name. But mm. I'm so indecisive. I don't think I'd decide until it popped out. And even then, I probably, I'm probably be one of them people who kept calling it the baby until mm. I realised what I wanted to call it. You definitely will be one of those people. Yeah. This is a good question for you, actually. If you were to get another boyfriend, obviously, your boyfriend, would you share the relationship publicly again? So this boyfriend, are you going to yeah. share him publicly? Not, not in the same way that I did like in the last relationship. In terms of like whether he'll be in the vlogs... Maybe like as and when. The person I'm comparing myself to, like how I'd like to do it, is Louise Pentland when she first started going out with, what's his name? James. Liam. Liam? Liam. Yeah. This one. When she first started going out with Liam, he was like, everyone knew about him, but he, he wasn't really in it. So I might do it like that. Yeah, because he's not really an online person. Like, he literally works in a completely different world to me. Mm. He's like in the science injury, industry, and I'm like, I don't know what I am. On YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. No, I think that's fair enough. But yeah, I'll play it by ear. Like, I, I don't want to... Like, there's clips from when we went to Budapest together where he's in them, and I filmed it just for me, and I've kept it, and I didn't put it in the vlog. Yeah. How does he I feel do about like your that? channel? Like, when, when you told him about it, what did he say? Well, we met on Tinder, mm. and that was one of the first things I always told them, so I didn't have to, like, tell them later on. So he knew before he'd even physically met me. Really? I don't know how I'd feel about that. Mm. I, I think I'd prefer... Scared getting it over and done with and then if they find it weird right at the beginning then what's the point because it's my job yeah that's true because like, if you don't like it well you're not gonna be good are you because bye honey <laughs> thank you next yeah literally so yeah he was kind of chill about it and he'll like watch my videos i'll get a snapchat and it'll be like watching my favorite person and i'm like mm. it's me. and he likes that i'm really creative but we kind of bounce well off each other to say that we're in such different jobs and mm. stuff do you feel an, an expectation to vlog youtuber pals when you see them so you don't so people don't assume that you've fallen out <gasps> no i said to you yesterday i was like yeah whenever i've seen my youtube friends i always vlog it because most of the time i don't do anything with my life so when i do i film it but yeah. i haven't filmed this weekend and it feels so nice to not vlog it mm. so i don't feel obliged to i just see, think I it's nice of, to i kind of like i can see why people would feel obliged oh, yeah. I obviously don't, because I literally I haven't vlogged this yeah, weekend. Yeah, you haven't Last time you came over, you didn't vlog either, I don't think. Didn't I? No. Well, clearly I don't feel obliged. <laughs> no. But I do see, like, I don't really ever think about people thinking we've fallen out, because I think if we haven't fallen out, we don't need to worry about whether people think we have or not. Yeah, it's not it's not our problem what you that think. That doesn't really... As long as we're happy. It doesn't really bother me if people are like, oh, have you fallen out? Like, people do tweet me, like, if I see you without Molly, oh, or right, if I yeah. see Molly without you, they're like, have you and Alice fallen out? Have you and Molly fallen out? I'm like, no. Yeah. It's hard to get everyone together at the same time. Exactly, yeah, I get that question a lot. And in the same place. So, 
Now I don't feel obliged, but I enjoy like vlogging with my YouTube friends. Obviously, I don't film with my real life friends because they don't understand YouTube really. Mm -hmm. But whereas you guys do understand it more, so it's just more normal, isn't it? Like mm. naturally, it's easier to vlog with your YouTube friends. Oh than yeah, real life. Wait, I'm ploughing through these. I've had my chicken sandwich, half a veggie wrap, a cheeseburger, a couple of chips, mate. I'm so excited to do more of these. If you enjoyed oh, like, this kind of video, please tell me in the comments. Like, give it a thumbs up whatever, so I've got some kind of gauge if you like it, because... I will give it a thumbs up. I love... Oh, thanks, mate. So kind. You're welcome. So generous. I've got... I'm looking for any excuse to eat food and talk. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Oh, what? You're not sure? <laughs> it's not questionable. It's the mayo. It's very mayo-heavy. Uh -huh. I do like garlic mayo, but I don't like normal mayo. That's so weird that you like garlic mayo but not normal mayo. <laughs> they literally are like the same thing. You're an odd one, mate. I've told you I am. <laughs> what was your favourite TV show as a child? Tracy Beaker. Was it? Didn't even have to think about that. Mine yeah. mine was like tweenies when I was a lot younger. I loved the tweenies. Ooh, little Tots TV. Oh, Do you remember Tots TV? Yeah, and do you remember, um, what's it called? Something like Rubber Dub Dub? Something like that? Rubber Dub Dub? What's that program called? <laughs> they're all in the graph and they like jump in and the frog jumps in. I've not seen that, I don't think. Mate. Oh my god, Clifford the big red dog. Oh, I had a nightmare about him once because I used to have a phobia of dogs, didn't I? <laughs> oh my god, I think you told me about this before. Yeah, I used to love the program, Clifford the big red dog, but because I had the phobia of dogs when I was younger, I had a dream that Clifford was at my bedroom window. And then I literally, I moved rooms after that. <laughs> me and my mum and dad swapped root bedrooms. <laughs> Because I was scared of Clifford coming to my window. You're such a diva. Excuse me, Clifford is scary. No, like, they were genuinely concerned. Like, I couldn't sleep after that because I thought Clifford was <laughs> outside. You're so pure, I love it. It's a red dog, like, it's not even real, clearly. You remember the bear in the big blue house? Oh, yeah, that was probably one of my favourites as mm. well. And then getting a bit older, it was like Hannah Montana. I loved that. Sweet Life is Zack and Cody. Oh my god, Wizards of Waverly Place. <gasps> yes. That was my fave. Two faves. Trace Beaker, Wizard of Waverly Place. Mine was Sweet Life of Zack and Cody and Good Luck Charlie. See, I'm a bit older, so that came out and I was like, what are Disney doing? <laughs> oh, really? Mm. Oh, I liked Good Luck Charlie. This is good. I like this rap. Is it? Oh, you've changed your opinion. I Change agree. your tune quick. I know I did. <laughs> um, someone says, what's your opinion on commentary channels? Q Alice, what's a commentary channel? <laughs> Do you know what that is? Only because I watched Alfie's video the other day. Oh, uh, yeah, actually, same to be fair. If you asked me that, I've been called it a drama no. channel before. Like that's what I thought the drama Yeah, they just was. like pick on someone else's, pick up on other people's mistakes. Other people's videos and then just about them. Yeah. How do you feel about them? What's your opinion? I just think what's the point? Like, I think it's something, it's my attitude to everything. I just want you to take a second to watch Hannah try and open this curry sauce packet. This made me laugh so much whilst I was editing. Just can't be bothered with drama. Yeah, how can you bother? And I feel like you're just thriving off something like someone does something bad and you're like making money off it like yeah everyone true. makes mistakes like yeah there's enough sh like sh going on in the world for you then you to be bumming picking on someone's video like come on do something else <laughs> yeah no i agree to be fair we're no, both I mean, very undramatic people though aren't yeah like, i just well, can't be bothered like yeah they messed up like you don't yeah most of the time these people don't even do anything wrong but even if the youtubers do do something wrong so what everyone makes mistakes like mm. You can't hold a grudge against someone because they've made one mistake, I don't think, anyway. Yeah, no, I don't I don't watch them. I can't bother with drama. There genuinely is not one YouTuber that I can't stand. There's no one. There used to be. Mm. People I was like, oh, I really don't like that person. But now I'm like, I've just let it go. I can't be bothered to hold grudges. Yeah, I'll just unsubscribe or just not. Yeah. But I'm so unclued up on any of the YouTube drama or anything. Anything that's going on, like Hannah will come and be like, oh, did you see Stone Stone? I'm like, no, don't know who that is. No, nope. <laughs> who's that? Yeah, because I just kind of made my own little bubble. I'm quite happy in that. There's nothing on there that makes me feel negative. I did the same with Facebook. I loved... When I left school, I just got rid of everyone from school. So did that, I. That, like, bullied me and were awful. Yeah, I got Because rid of I was like, why, why do I need this in my life? I don't need you in my life. So I was like, as literally as soon as I walked out of the door, at the end, last day of six, I was like, bye. Really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, we're not dramatic people. Like, I don't think it's right that people make money off of other people. Like, they're trying to make other people look bad, it's not fair. Do you eat cake with a fork or a spoon? I eat it with a spoon. Even if it's like a Vicky sponge? What? A Vicky sponge? What? I know. A Victoria sponge. I know what you mean, but it's just how you said it. What? <laughs> Even with a Vicky sponge? <laughs> sponge. Sponge. How do you say sponge? Sponge. 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 <laughs> Ew, it makes it sound really gross, that sponge. 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 Even with a Vicky sponge? I said it so judgmentally as well. <laughs> like, Ugh. even with a Vicky sponge. <laughs>
<laughs> well, um, so you eat a Vicky sponge with a spoon? To be honest, I'd probably bypass the spoon and fork and just pick it up. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, fair enough, that's quite a fair answer. If you could swap lives with anyone for a day, who would it be? I'd go for a singer, like a famous singer, because I always think that when they perform on stage, it looks so much fun. <laughs> Maybe like Kendall Jenner walking down the catwalk, like, and going to like yeah. a red carpet. Or Kylie event. Jenner. Yeah. She can't sing though. Nah. Oh, see, I'd love I'd to be just... able to like perform on stage, like. Have a little dance. You could be Hannah Montana. <gasps> Your alter ego, mate. Yeah. Have a normal life. Like Bell. Yeah, and a singer. I used to love that programme. Maybe Kylie Jenner, though, actually. I'll be Kendall. And then we can spend the day together. Yeah. Walk, yeah. Do my daddy with me five cars. <laughs> <laughs> You've got. Have you even at this? Oh, yeah. yeah. Of course <laughs> I have, mate. I'm like, have you at this? Oh, my God, yeah. She's just nodded. <laughs> Someone said, What do you feel the most pressure about right now? It's quite a deep Ooh. question. Um, under pushing. pressure. Oh, that's the song I was going for. Pushing down on me, pressing down on you, no matter who. Under pressure. Go on, get your snorkels out. I'm getting deep. <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> going diving. The pressure of like knowing what the f you're doing. Having a direction. Like right now, I'm having a bit of a crisis of like what I'm even doing in my life because I like, left school, got my GCSEs, right? Next, get your A levels. Mate, next, you're doing more than me. Job. You've got a degree. And it, now I finish my degree. Work. You do commissions, but it doesn't you have any like channel. it doesn't have like an end goal. It's just like a constant running thing. Like I think I work towards goals quite a lot. I better. That's all right though. Like my dad always said to me because I never knew what I wanted to do and I still don't really. He always said when I was younger, especially I used to really stress out about it. He always said there's a reason that you don't know what you want to do. Like something will come up and you'll think, yeah, that's it. That's why I didn't know. Mm. So you just gotta wait for your thing to present itself. Like maybe I'll be different when I have me three or four kids, you know. Yeah, exactly. That's that's how I feel. I always feel like my purpose is to have a family. Yeah, that's, I feel like that's quite controversial because loads of people are like, oh, women aren't just to have a family. But if that's what you want to do, yeah, that is what I want my purpose to be: is to have a family and like be a mum and do the washing. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like that's just what what I live for. I yeah. feel like I've been a lot more settled once I've got that. Mm. But pressure right now, I don't really feel pressured about anything. I think we decide, because of the nature of our jobs, we're the one who decides, we're the person who yeah. decides what we're going to do. So like, the only pressure we would have is what we've put ourselves under. Yeah. And I think with that chill and kind of, we know that it's not worth it, we don't no. put ourselves under that pressure anyway. Yeah. Do you know what I sometimes do feel pressure for though, mm -hmm. more recently than ever, is to find a partner. I don't have any single friends. I'm the only person... Becca. Oh yeah, we Becca. love you, Becca. Becca, thank God for Becca. She is like, <laughs> literally, she's me. But other than that, like my close group of friends that I talk to all the time, everyone has got a boyfriend. I am the single one, mm. and I feel like I'm missing out quite a lot. And sometimes like, I put a lot of pressure on myself when I was younger to get married young and have kids young because that's all I've wanted. And now I've got to wait for that like, even longer. I'm like, mate, this is long. I need to make you a Tinder mate and find you a man. Oh God, I'm not sure how I feel about Tinder. I'm not gonna lie, especially when you live in Essex. <laughs> We've still got McFlurries. Oh my god, yeah, we put them in the freezer. Yes. That was so clever of you to think to put it in the freezer. Got a degree, mate. <laughs> mate, putting them in the freezer <gasps> was, was the best decision. Was it? Feel how oh. cold they still are. They're like, like brand new. frozen. <sighs> yes. It's like, I mean, I'm not sure I've just smelled some ice cream. <laughs> Did you smell it? I sniffed it. I sniffed it. You've gone for Oreo, haven't you? Oh yeah. Oreo. Oh. Oreo. 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 Same thing. Same difference. <laughs> I love a crunchy. I've eaten so much McDonald's. <laughs> oh, food baby. Mate, this is like a normal occurrence. <laughs> how bad is that? Wait till you watch back how quickly I inhaled the chicken sandwich. You didn't even realise I was eating it. I know. I didn't realise it had gone. What did you want to be when you were older? I wanted to be a dancer. I wanted to be a mixture. I never really knew. Prime Minister. No. Magician. Most of the time it was like a performer because I did drama, singing and dancing. Mm. So, any of the above. I want to be like a dance teacher or I want to go to the Royal Ballet School. I went to that. I went there for a like, workshop today. I got chosen for it. Oh, no. Look at me being a ballerina. <laughs> Lol, I have no <laughs> can't picture that now. at all. <laughs> I'm the can't. least graceful person now. <laughs> Was there any beef at VidCon? There were, oh my God, I don't know if I've told you about this. What? The beef that happened at, at VidCon, like on the day. Oh my God, tell me. That's so bad. Are you making another Disney trip this year? I wish. Mm. I 
wish i wish to although as much as i do love disney i would want to go back i kind of want to go somewhere else with you and becca now oh yeah like do something different maybe mm. go to like ireland or mm. or i'd go to anywhere. disney florida i wouldn't go to paris again would you not i'd, I'd go, go again disney but in a, in a while yeah i prefer paris to florida how controversial oh. mm. would you donate your organs when you die i am on the organ donation register me too the only thing is though one of my friends told me that you know like you just tick the box like take anything yeah so I took that. Then my friend was like, that means they're going to take your eyes, which yeah, means you can't see in the afterlife. So I think I want to change it so they take everything but my eyes. I unchecked the one that made me feel a bit uneasy, but like all my organs, like down here, take them. Oh, I just pressed everything, but I don't want to take my eyes anymore. So if I die before I get to change it, <laughs> please refer to this video. Tell don't, them. Don't take my eyes <laughs> because I want to be able to see in heaven. Yeah. Or hell, wherever I'll be. <laughs> <laughs> so, what is your ideal wedding setting? I would like quite a traditional wedding. I like the idea of it being in a church and walking down the aisle and stuff like that. But I want to have a big wedding. Like, yeah. every person I know is being invited, whether I've talked to you in five years or not. Yeah, so you're going to have a big wedding? Oh, definitely. Massive party mm. after, like, live music, massive party, all the family oh, there. I'm so buzzing for your wedding. Oh yeah, mate, it's going to be a banger. I can design your like invitations and yeah, your place yeah, you all that. Yeah. I'm, I'm so excited. I'm going to be like the best bride ever. I'm going to plan everything. Everything's going to be like blingy. <laughs> I know the colour scheme already. Like, oh, it's going to be so good, but I've got to find a boyfriend. First. I was going to say, you need to find someone to marry first. <laughs> yeah. Slight hurdle. Yeah, that's the only thing holding me back. <laughs> what about you? What kind of wedding do you want? I want something small, so that's where we differ. Mm. Because I don't really have that many friends and I don't Okay, so I've always had an opinion of why should I invite Auntie So and So I've not seen for four years just to give her a free meal and a night out? <laughs> I'm so bad. No, Do you know what I mean? I guess that's kind of true, yeah. Maybe like my mum would be like, oh, you've got to invite So and So, she's your godmother. And I'm like, mum, I've not seen her since I was seven. Yeah, that is true. I'm when like you that. put it like that, like, I, I'd rather just do the people who I'm like genuinely still in touch with mm. special like special to me or whatever yeah that does sound quite appealing yeah and i wouldn't do it in a church i don't think i think i'd go to like a nice hotel where you can get married in like a nice looking room or whatever like something obviously pretty and then the after part be in the same hotel and then if people want to stay over they can stay over oh that, that, that sounds much better than my plan <laughs> I like the idea of the church. I'm not religious at all, but every wedding I've ever been to, like I've filmed weddings, been to weddings as guests, whatever, it's always been in the church and it always feels so like, I'd like to have a big choir singing oh, and stuff like that's that. Cute. But you ha I think you have to go to church for like six months or something, don't you? I think so. I need a lot of dedication. Yeah, though. I need to sign up to church then, don't I? You need to find a Where do you apply? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you can email um, ministers now. I'll email one. Be like, Hun, can can you let me in the back door? Can I just come once? I need to confess my sins so I can get married, please. I have no sins. <laughs> so, I think we're gonna wrap it up. Yeah. We've answered a lot of questions. We have. We've eaten a lot of food. We've eaten a lot. You've eaten a lot of food. I've eaten a lot of food. <laughs> it's been very good. Though. I'm happy about it. We're actually losing the light now. It's getting dark. We've been talking for that oh long. Oh god. But. Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, you definitely, definitely need to go and watch the video on Hannah's channel that we filmed today because this so is the funny. result. Yeah. Um, had wig, had full outfit. Like mm. it was, it was good. Um, and we got the reaction of my parents as well. So hilarious! Oh my god, their reaction. My mum was cry laughing. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for being on my channel, Hannah. It's all right. Thanks for having me. It's all right, and I'll see you very, very soon for another one. Bye. Bye.